In this video, we're going to be covering how to set up a linear workflow using Arnold for Maya. In this scene, we have two spheres and two planes. Both spheres have an AI standard material. The right plane has an HDR image, and the left plane has an sRGB image. And over here in our Arnold for Maya render settings, under the Gamma Correction tab, we have uh, all the settings we need to set up a proper linear workflow using Arnold. The good news is uh, that Arnold out of the gate is pretty much the easiest software package to uh, get you into a linear workflow because the default settings are literally set uh, to be linear. So if we took a render of this scene with our sRGB, our HDR, and our color swatches, uh, this is what we would get. And this image is like I said, out of the gate, a perfect linear image. The color swatches, if I can select, the swatches are rendering one for one, our HDR image is rendering perfect, and our sRGB image is rendering perfect without the need for adding any gamma correct nodes. And that's because, in effect, these settings here are gamma correct nodes in and of themselves. Well, the options that we have here are the display driver, uh, which is similar to the Maya display color management image color profile. And we'll get into that in just a second because essentially there's, there's two ways to set up linear uh, display driver um, work, workspace with Arnold. Uh, and either one uh, will give you the exact same results. Um, both roads will lead you to the same place. Uh, so it's up to you which one you want to use. But basically, with your display driver gamma set to 2.2, you're viewing in the proper gamma correct 2.2 color space. And the 2.2 here, and the 2.2 here, and 2.2 here is the same thing as adding a gamma correct node to your shader in the hypergraph uh, the old-fashioned way. So, uh, for instance, if I were to take off 2.2, set it to 1, you'll see that the sRGB uh, color tile gets blown out because it's it's being viewed in the incorrect color space. It's, it's, it's being completely washed out. So if you go back to 2.2, you'll see that it is immediately back into proper color space. And so this is one way, and the other way is equally as simple. Set your display driver gamma to 1, render and then here you see that this is the under gamut image and then go to image color profile set that to linear and we're right back into a perfect linear workspace so again two ways to go about it you can set your display driver gamma to one and then set your Maya image color profile to linear sRGB or leave this at the default sRGB and set your display driver gamma to 2.2. And there you go. Perfect linear workflow with Arnold from Maya.